Peace, fam. <clears throat> Excuse me, daughter. I see can see level seven and seven principles. I'll do a quick video on what I was talking to you guys about the other night, the other day, the last video I did, and how Source said that um, we didn't realize how how powerful we are. That we are basically so minute in our thinking about how powerful we are, and that like. In the dream, I, I told y'all about how one person was grounded, and even those that wasn't grounded, if they touched that person, then they became grounded. So our energy affect each other. So I went out and bought. I should have did this live, but I went out and bought a, um, a voltage meter, or huh? I went out and bought a voltage meter or a multimeter. To prove it to myself, because, you know, like I said, I, I got it from the dream, so I had to, you know, make sure my connection was still good. And I want to show you guys the proof of when one of us, our energy affects the other being's energy. If one of us is high vibrational and we link to another person, we can change their energy. The positive energy overpowers the negative energy. We could change um, the energy in another person. So, scientifically, we're about to prove this. That's Luna. Please. So, um, I can't flip this camera once. I don't think. Hold on. No, so I'm going to do it this way. Can you see it? Because I can't. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is the uh, multimeter. And if you get a multimeter, you want to do it on, it's like AC, DC side. So the AC side is the squiggly lines, see the vault, and the squiggly lines, that's AC. And most of them that I found, the first one I did it on was on, had 200 and 600. But if we, if we have energy running in it through us, 200 and 600, like we can't even take 120 volts. That's what's running through your house. If you touch 120 volts, you're going to die. It's going to electrocute you. So you want to get it with the lower meters going into the, um, the miller, millimeters and stuff. So 20 is a good setting, or even two. Is a good set setting, but I'm gonna put it on 20. Can you see that, babe, in there? Mm -hmm. Can you see the numbers here? I just want the yeah. numbers clearly. Yeah. Okay, why is this one out? I don't know. Maybe when I got up or something. I don't know. Push it in there hard. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna show you. So, what we're gonna do is Luna is ungrounded. Keep your shoes on. And then she's going to touch the... So ungrounded, she's one point... 23, let's give it that. Am I supposed to cover the tip of it? The silver part, just the silver part. I know, but like the tip of the silver No, just, the silver, right. just as long as you're touching it. Okay. One point 23, we'll give it that. So she's going to unground I mean she's gonna ground herself now by standing in the dirt we brought her down to a zero which is um she has zero negative energy running through her electricity so she's grounding she's grounded now put your feet back in your shoe she's ungrounded right mm -hmm. so I'm gonna touch Luna See? And it went up. Both of us are ungrounded. And together, the dirty electricity running through us is pretty high. So, Luna's ungrounded. I'm ungrounded. I may get grounded. And it brought us down to almost zero negative electricity running through us. I'm going to let Luna hand go. She's ungrounded. So again, if both of us are ungrounded, I'm touching Luna again. Both of us are ungrounded. A lot of dirty electricity. And Luna's going to ground herself. She's cleansing out the both of us. Because I'm ungrounded. And she's grounded. I let her go. 
nothing, but because she's grounded now, and I'm holding her, she's grounding the both of us, and I'll prove that one more time. Take my hand off of her. Unground yourself, Lynn. She's ungrounded, and she's about a 123 still. Now, no, I want to be ungrounded too. Hold on. And I'm touching Luna. I'm bringing us up to like one, all of it. Ooh. So between the two of us, we have a lot of dirty electricity. I'm going to ground myself. Mind you, she's holding the um, thingy. So I'm not holding it. She's holding it. So it's measuring her right now. And this is the point. Me touching her, ungrounded, me touching her is changing her. So awesome. Me touching her is changing her. But now I'm going to ground. She's holding the thing. It's measuring her, not me. And it just changed the dirty electricity running through the both of us. I'm grounding, affecting her. Mm hmm that's awesome. Okay, we done. Yay. So, <laughs> yay. All right, we leave this all. Mind you, if you want to get this system, do it yourself. It's a multimeter. I got it from um, Walmart. Keep still. Let me do it. Just make sure you get the one with the um, to 200, 220, 260. So at least have at least two. Def at least 20. But if you get the twos, it's even better. So, um, I went to Lowe's and just got a copper pipe. Make sure you can see that. Oh, here. I went to Lowe's and got the copper pipe. It's a regular copper pipe. Put it in the ground because I'm in a desert, so I wet the ground first so it adhere to the ground and don't slip. And then I bought these alligator clips. That's what they're called. Alligator clips. I'm sure. Okay, this is what comes with the meter. You have the meter and you have the grounding wire and you have the hot and when you put it together see it say calm that's your grounding see it these with the squiggly little I want you to keep still I got it with the squiggly that's where your hot go and this is where your grounding go and you take the caps off of these so that it expose the um, metal both of them okay and then I got just some 16 gauge wire and bought some alligator clips and put the wire onto the alligator clips. Now what you want to do is, you know, they, they say some people, you can even use like a screwdriver in the ground. I like to work with copper though, but if you put a screwdriver in the ground, same thing. You put your alligator clip onto your grounding rod and you put the other one at the end of your negative. And then you start your measure. Make sure it's, again, the squiggly lines is on AC. Um, and the alternate current, because that's what runs through us, is the alternate current. Current. So, again, this proves, this scientifically proves, that we affect each other. Positive energy, number one, it proves that positive energy defeats negative energy. <laughs> one. And it proves that we affect each other if my energy is positive and I link to you I, I give that energy to you so through or with our sister sister circles um so it's important for us to link to hold hands in our manifestations in our affirmations in our healing energy that we have to touch we're so um caught up in cyberspace right now and we don't touch anymore. We can't touch each other, you know. Like when we used to say, um, I feel your vibes or I'm vibing with you. That's because you were in a person's presence. And you could feel their vibrations. You could tap into their frequencies and their tones. But now everything is cyberspace. So you don't even, when, you, when you're reading somebody else's Facebook post or if you're somebody's talking to you in inbox, it's in your own voice. You're not really feeling their vibes. You don't even you don't even know the expressions, the expression on a person's face when they're writing something. That's why a lot of stuff get um a lot of messages get twisted online because in through text, but they they try to replace that with emojis and laugh out loud and so you could 
imagine but you can't imagine what it sound like for me to laugh because you can only hear it in your own voice if i put laugh out loud or laughing my ass off you can only hear that in your own voice you can't hear the joy in my tones when i laugh out loud so it's important for the sister circles it's important for the event coming up for the sisters to link up for the sisters to plant our feet in the mud heal in the mud do these healing rituals together and to link doing it we have to touch because it like like source said in the dream the other night what it does is not only my grounding grounds luna that grounding energy just grew with the two of us so if a third person links to that that's three and it makes the energy itself bigger so uh yeah this is it for this video i just wanted to prove to you guys that we need each other and we need touch thought of our secrecy level seven seven principles peace